you notice here how this fin looks all washed out? The reason for that is the way the camera works. Actually there's a light on top of the camera and it's focused at the rocket and what's happening here is the light is bouncing off this fin right back into the camera. Uh, we can ch uh, correct that by adding a studio light. So we'll go to the edit lighting button and we'll just click add studio light and it will put in some default numbers and just leave those alone. That's a good and click OK and you see how that took care of that right there. Uh, some of the other things that we can do in the 3D uh, view is we can change the engine color and we can uh, make it a, a higher resolution image. Uh, do you see here how the nose cone um, looks uh, truncated in, in certain sections? We can smooth that out. Also uh, when we rotate the rocket around do you see how some of the parts disappear? We can correct that too um, under the preferences. So go ahead and open the preferences again. Click on the 3D tab. Uh, here is the engine color, so we'll just go ahead and find a brown color. Um, and then we can make it high resolution, and that will take care of the jaggedness of the curves. Just click on the high res button and uncheck use variable resolution parts. And this will uh, allow Roxim to render a little bit faster. See how nice and smooth that nose cone is there. And when we move it around, parts don't disappear on us.